Cross and Guns. Yeah. I was posted outside the Hi. I'm Andy for Remington Firearms. What's going on guys? Andy and Randy here for G4 Outdoors. We just got done installing the Do-All Firefly and right now in this video we're going to get into doing a little bit more fine tuning on it and definitely some enjoyment. So guys, like we said, I reached out to the guys at Do All Outdoors and they were beyond nice enough to send us out this Firefly to do some reviews on and use. Me and Randy both were looking at something a little more portable and uh, beyond on easy use. And this thing, I think, is going to serve very well for us. Like I said, the guys at Do All were beyond nice enough to send this out and we definitely hope to do some more videos with them they seem like an awesome awesome company but just in this video alone me and randy are going to go through and kind of show you some of the stuff you can do to tinker with these but there's a lot of factors that are going to make this run at its best one of the main things is going to be making sure you can get these feet buried into the ground where we're at right now we have a ton of rock in the soil and we're having a hard time getting this in the ground like we need to i'm sure we can move and find a better spot but it's definitely going to keep you at a better track without it wanting to kick around a lot. Okay, as you can see, the spring is completely sprung, and this is going to give you the maximum velocity out of your clays. It's not recommended to screw this all the way down like this one is, but we are testing this out to see, define its capability, see what it's capable of. Sprung all the way out like this, it's not breaking clays at the moment. If you get a uh, bad box that's been in a little bit of moisture, of course you're going to break clays. But right now it's running really smoothly with it stretched all the way out. We fire one off here. That's a good 50, we, we get a, 50 yards. We get a little over 50 yards out of that one there. So I'm going to show you how to adjust this down, the proper and safe way to adjust this down. So uh, this right here is your adjustment knob for your spring. You have a toggle switch right here which has an on indicator an off indicator, and a disarm indicator. In order to adjust this, we're gonna to wanna to put it on disarm. You're gonna to wanna to push the pedal so that the arm goes all the way out to the 12 o'clock position. You'll see that happen right here. And let go of the pedal. You'll hear the motor is still running. You'll wanna turn the machine off. Next, you will want to unplug your power supply just so this doesn't come back and bite you. Now you're going to want to loosen your spring. And you're, what, you're going to want to do this in several different uh, steps so that you can get to where you want to be. Find out your perfect spot, how you want it to be. Right now we have it tightened all the way up. Again, not recommended. Just wanting to find the limits of this. So anyway, we got it down here about halfway in between it's in the middle right now so now you want to hook your battery back up and then you want to turn it in the on position and that will arm your clay and then you want to make a test throw of it to make sure that it goes how far you want it to go and again that's uh probably 10 yards shorter than what the last one was. So we're gonna adjust it one more time and we'll go through it again. You wanna put it to disarm. Let your arm go all the way out. Turn it off, unplug your battery, and loosen your screw a little bit more. I'm gonna go quite a bit just to show you how This thing will throw at a short distance. Okay, currently the, all of the tension is off of the spring, so this is going to be as low as it will go. Now you're going to want to reinstall your battery clamps, turn the unit on, it will arm itself. And we're ready to throw a short one. 25 yards. 
And there again, you saw that that was a really slow one, really nice for, begin for beginners. So once you have this set up to the speed that you're comfortable with, as you can see, there's a nut behind here that you can tighten up and lock that spring into position so that this thing does bounce around a lot. So you wanna lock that into position so that this doesn't, with all the vibration, your screw or your tensioning knob won't walk its way loose and you'll you'll wind up start getting shorter and shorter shots and you won't realize it until they're finally not throwing out there you want to keep yourself on top of your game keep them keep them clay going out there as fast and as far as possible so once you get to where you want tighten that nut up on the back and you'll be set to go for a long time so when it comes to some of the other little mechanical and electronic features that come on the do all firefly there was a lot more things I was thinking we were going to need to adjust that we did not need to adjust at all straight out of the box. First thing's going to be the actual little clay catcher arm that holds the rest of the clays from wanting to just fall after it grabs one. We didn't have to adjust that at all. Straight out of the box works 100%. The other thing is the little safety switch or the stop switch, I guess, for the actual throwing arm itself to where it knows where to stop when a clay drops before it wants to keep going or drop the clay in the wrong spot it's ready to go and from looking at it those things are adjustable if you do have those issues but for us right out of the box not a problem and then you also got the little brushes or bristles in here to really hold the clay on the arm like it needs to do before uh, launching it and getting ready to shoot but that's pretty much it guys this is how i would consider rtr it's just ready to run out of the box what you got to do is put your feet your arms your topper and your safety grab your battery you're ready to go. At least it's how it was for us. So we're going to take a minute, guys. We're going to shoot some clays. And something else I forgot to mention when it comes with being small and portable like this is, it still comes with a 25 clay capacity, which is actually pretty awesome for a solo guy going out and shooting some clays. Get them all out from under you. Is there one in there? Put that wrong ammo in. <laughs> I'd like to give a big thanks to do all for sending us out to us again the do all firefly guys check the links out into the description you won't be disappointed so guys thanks for sticking around this episode of g4 outdoors we'll see you in the next one hit the like button hit the subscribe button we will see you in the next one i'm out and guns.